be a failure. As long as it's not gonna kill you, it's gonna make you what? Stronger. Saturday, Jan 5th, 2019. First of all, happy festivities are over. Yeah, I know. I'm not a big fan of uh, breaks. Uh, maybe that's uh, the entrepreneurship uh, mindset, but uh, me at the office working, getting ready for 2019. Uh, but I want to touch about a, a very interesting topic. I talk a lot with the youth and startups and, and you know, the, the perception they have about companies that they see on the media, they, they, they see A-Red and they always think, well, you lucky, man, you're doing great. Um, you know, you're on the media, I, I heard you raise this much. And unfortunately, they don't see the, the, the what would you call it, the, the, the backstage. Uh, challenges or the backstage problems and issues and what we have. So I wanted to do a, a quick vlog, not, nothing too major, but a quick vlog and break it down. Um, not just issues, but don't 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 believe the hype. I don't care who you are. If you're a company, you're gonna have challenges. Even the big guys, you know, and we have plenty, plenty of challenges. You know, don't think because somebody's on the media, because somebody's a uh, is, is, is winning awards and all those things. They're doing great, they have no problems. You know, we understaff, you know, I, and I'll give you some of the, the few issues uh, we do have. We understaff, we underfunded. You know, when you, when you deal with product development, it's always, you know, you have to, to keep up. Technology now changed so fast, you know, it, it, it's very, very difficult uh, uh, to keep up with technology. And, and collect, you know, and build funding. You have to build the business. You know, we're still not profitable as a company uh, because we spend so much time on research and development. Now we start uh, building the business case. We start getting revenues. We start really trying to improve on our monetization. Actually, 2019 is gonna be the key for us to really monetize and reach our unit economics goal. And for those who don't know, if you're a startup, always know your numbers, guys. And depending on your business, it depends. For us, it's a unit economics. You know, each unit, which is the kiosk or the router system, has to make a certain amount of money, you know, to generate profit and we'll know how long uh, or when we'll be profitable, you know. So we're really working hard on our unit economics. We're trying to, now most the major development, we're trying to tone it down. It's just customization. One of the biggest challenges we have, for example, we have no technical team. That has been actually a, a big, big problem uh, uh, for us. Again, it's linked to funding. You know, people think you raise uh, a quarter of a mil or half a mil, and they think you made it, not knowing what type of business you're in, what, what understanding each business has different need. Innovation is tricky, man. It's it's not your 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 uh, uh, straight cut business that I used to. I used to be logistic. I did trucking for seven years. I had a fleet of of 10 trucks. I, I usually don't talk too much about it, uh, but for 10, 10 trucks. Um, when I learned the game of logistic and trucking, in three months I was profitable. You know, and the way I did it was I learned from existing business. So I used to go to seminars, learn from existing trucking company, the most profitable one, and just copy their model. That's all I did. And I improved, tweaked it a little bit, and I had a fleet, fleet of trucks. At, uh, at the peak, I had 10 trucks I was managing, you know, 
And boom, I was profitable in three months. Best business I ever did to this day, as far as revenue wise. Best business, you know. Uh, it was a great business, great money. But when you deal with innovation, you deal with the unknown. You don't know what you're dealing with. There is no roadmap. There's nobody has done what you're trying to do most of the time, you know, because it's innovative, it's new. So you not only you innovating the product, you have to innovate the business model. So it's test, test, test. It, take, it can take years. You know, look at Tesla. Look at the, uh, the e-commerce business. Look at Alibaba. You know how long those guys it took them to 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 monetize. It took them decades, if not more. You know, so don't beat yourself up because you're not making money yet. You know. You, what you gotta build is you gotta play the long-term game. That's the game you gotta play. You gotta play the long-term game. You gotta figure out, you know, having the best product. You gotta figure out working on your business model. Don't have the short-term game. Don't beat yourself up because you're not monetizing properly in a year or two. Give yourself 10, 15 years to get this business right. The challenge now is, do you have enough capital to last that long? That's the key game.